Portland police to pay nearly $700,000 to former official who pushed to defund department. Former city official who advocated defunding the police gets $680,000 settlement in her suit against Portland Officers Union. The police union in Portland, Oregon, and two officers agreed to pay a former city commissioner $680,000 to settle claims that they leaked information falsely implicating her in a hit and run. Joe and Hardesty's lawsuit seeking $5 million was scheduled to go to trial this week. A jury would have been asked to decide if police racially discriminated against Hardesty, the first black woman to serve as a Portland city commissioner and a staunch advocate for defunding the police in 2020. The city of Portland settled its portion of the lawsuit in August for $5,000 and a written apology from Mayor Ted Wheeler. The dispute began in March 2021 when a 911 caller mistakenly identified Hardesty as the driver who rear-ended her and fled the scene. A Portland Police Bureau PPB, officer leaked the accusation to an activist friend who later shared the information on a live stream, an internal review conducted last year found. Then Union President Brian Hunziker also leaked the false information to a reporter, according to Hardesty's lawsuit. Hardesty was soon cleared of any connection to the crash and Hunziker, who had only been on the job for a few months, stepped down. The union cited a serious, isolated mistake related to the incident as the reason for Hunziker's resignation. Hunziker was later rehired and then resigned a second time after it emerged that he was moonlighting as a sheriff's deputy in Washington state while also collecting a six-figure salary in Portland. Hardesty and police had a fraught relationship during her tenure as commissioner. She spearheaded efforts to slash PPB's funding as social unrest rocked Portland in 2020, though the bureau's budget is now nearly $20 million higher than before the protests. Hardesty also apologized in July 2020 for alleging that police saboteurs were starting fires and infiltrating the crowds of protesters who took over Portland streets for more than 100 consecutive nights. She lost re-election in November to political newcomer Renee Gonzalez, who ran as a centrist and supporter of law and order.